Hi everyone, a big welcome back to my channel. So as you guys probably know, I don't tend to make monthly TBR videos. In my brain, I kind of plan these things out somewhat, but I don't tend to fully commit and put the TBR out there for you guys. I feel like what with reading tons of new books sent by publishers and reading proof copies ahead of pub dates, I just already have some level of pressure and dictation put on my reading and I don't necessarily want to add to that. So that being said, this month is different apparently. I'm just super excited this month about having a TBR and sharing it with you all. I've got some incredibly exciting upcoming new releases that I cannot wait to read. I will definitely be picking them up this month. Plus it's Pride Month so I'm excited about dedicating some of my reading to queer books as well. So let's just have a chat about the books I'm excited to read this month. It's going to be a good time. I can feel it. So let's start with the biggie, shall we? Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney. I have been lucky enough to be sent a proof copy of this highly, highly anticipated new novel coming out in September. Thank you so much, Faber and Faber. It's honestly like I'm living some kind of dream. For those of you who don't know, this novel follows four characters, Alice, who is a novelist, and Felix, who works in a warehouse, who meet and travel to Rome together. And we also have Eileen and Simon in Dublin, two childhood best friends who slip back into flirting with each other. I'm already reading this one, obviously. I couldn't wait. And I'm actually vlogging reading this one for you guys so you can experience it with me every step of the way. It's been so fun. I imagine the vlog will be going up in a couple of weeks, so keep your eyes peeled. I won't say any more about this one now, but rest assured it is fab. I'm loving it. Plus, it is full of queer millennials, so happy pride. Next up is another exciting new release, this one coming out on the 24th of this month, and that is Animal by Lisa Tadeo. This is the first novel by Lisa Tadeo, the author of Three Women, the non-fiction, journalisty, storytelling-y book that came out a couple of years ago. I loved Three Women. I thought it was super raw and refreshing and compulsively readable. Naturally, I was very excited to hear that Lisa Tadeo was bringing out a novel. Described as being full of female rage, I believe this novel follows the story of a young woman who witnesses some violent act by a man. She then flees New York and ends up unravelling some traumatic event that happened to her as a child. I'm really intrigued by this. I'm hoping it's going to be just as intelligent and touching as Three Women, while also being something completely new and exciting and fresh. Fingers crossed, I'm going to love this one. Next up on my TBR is The Henna Wars by Adiba Jagadar. This is one of the books that I'm going to be reading in celebration of Pride Month, but also just because it sounds super cute and I've been meaning to read it for a while now. This is a YA romance novel following the story of a 16 year old Bangladeshi girl named Nishat who is coming to terms with her sexuality and has a crush on a beautiful girl named Flavia. When a school competition invites students to set up their own businesses, both girls set up rival henna businesses. This just sounds wonderful and 
adorable. I'm super excited to read about a Bangladeshi teenage protagonist. I'm super excited to learn more about henna as an art. I'm super excited for the rivals to lovers trope. And I've also just heard nothing but amazing things about this author and about this book specifically. I think I'm really going to enjoy this one and it just feels like the perfect time to read it while the sun is shining so beautifully. Next up on the TBR is Reputation by Lex Croucher. Another new release, this one is coming out next month in July. This is a historical Regency era romance novel following the story of a young middle class woman named Georgiana who goes and lives with her dreary aunt and uncle. There she meets the the wealthy, enigmatic Francis falling into the upper echelons of debauch Regency society. This book is being marketed as for fans of Bridgerton and Jane Austen. I cannot tell you how up for this I am. This just sounds so fun, probably hilarious. I'm really hoping it's done well because I think this could be brilliant. Next up is Modern Medicine by Lucy Hurst. This is a new contemporary poetry collection coming out on the 18th of this month. I believe it explores the weirdness and discomfort of bodily suffering through experiences of medicine and illness and disability. This premise just fascinates me. I really want to read more about and learn more about pain and how we view it as a society and how we treat it, especially with regards to female pain. I think this should be a really interesting collection and hopefully pretty illuminating. And the final book that I really hope to get to this month is The Service by Frankie Mirren. This is another new literary novel that just recently came out. I believe it follows the story of three different women whose lives start to intertwine when brothels in London start being raided. Laurie has a young daughter and works illegally in a rented flat. Freya is a student making money as an escort and Paula is a journalist leading a campaign against prostitution. This book is said to challenge conceptions surrounding sex and women's bodies and entitlement and power. It is said to have dystopian vibes. Everything about this sounds exciting to me. Such cool social commentary but also being really character focused. I think I'm really going to enjoy this one. So there we have a few of the books that I really want to get to this month my top priority reads. I hope you guys enjoyed having a little look into my TBR for once. Please let me know if you enjoyed it down below. Tell me what you think about the sound of these books. Also definitely let me know what's on your June TBR. What's the book you are most excited to get to? Thank you so much for watching everyone as always. I appreciate it so much and I will hopefully see you really soon in another video. Bye everyone.